Well, the, start, the starting point was very much trying to produce um, a series of products that, which uh, presented the idea more about media than necessarily product. What I mean by that is that each product presents itself as this kind of a solid, continuous block uh, with no parting lines. It doesn't feel like it's an assemblage of parts that have kind of been brought together, but rather almost as if it's, it's born out of its own material. And uh, by doing that, um, the, the customer kind of feels uh, that it is more like a storage media a bit like a, a video cassette or a tape cassette or a CD rather than necessarily a product um, that has lots of components in it that are working. Um, and part of the reason to do that was um, to create a lot of trust um, between the, um, the product and, and, um, and the user who was using it. When you, when you take the lid off, uh, it just simply reveals um, uh, a USB plug, which plugs into the computer, obviously, and uh, that in itself means that everything is self-contained within the product. It's not like you need uh, many other parts to be able to use it, um, or cables, or transformers, or those sorts of things. Um, and uh, the starting point for the DVD player was again very, very much the same, um, but. Um, what we did was add a, um, uh, another layer to it whereby even though it's a mobile product it generally sits on the table and um, so when you turn it over um, it's actually revealing parts of, its, parts of it, its inner workings in terms of its drive um, and that was quite an interesting um, idea for demystifying the product. for uh, this kind of market, um, Lassie is really the, the perfect company to do that because they're able to not only take the risk of essentially producing a box which um, you know, is, uh, um, is all that it is, and uh, I think um, by doing that it, it's something that many other companies simply wouldn't be able to do.